Hi everyone, it is still February 22nd, 2018. I am passing along one website that is very, very important. And the reason I'm doing this is because I have subscribers who are going to be grandparents and unfortunately many are having great difficulty uh, having conversations about the dangers of vaccines with their adult children and I have some subscribers who have received the happy news that they will become grandparents in well eight months seven months and they know about the vaccines and they need to have conversations with their adult children this is a site that provides 493 abstracts about vaccination, vaccines, adverse effects, and you can come over here to the left hand side and see that they have uh, organized it under specific topics either specific diseases, syndromes, illnesses that are associated with getting vaccinated or the actual vaccine. But they have at the very top vaccine induced toxicity which I went to and I'm going to read some of these. Now all you have to do is click on this Okay, so you've got 38,787 adverse events, including infant death. Infant death, which is highest in one to three month olds after vaccination, were reported between 1991 and 1994 in, in, in only a three year period. Three, uh, 38. 1,787. So I clicked on that and here is the abstract. Um, no, I clicked on another. Sorry, let me click on this. Here we go. The abstract and the source of the study, the abstract source. And this is in the Journal of Pediatrics. And here is the abstract. So what I am giving you is an arsenal uh, loaded with studies that you can provide to your adult children and frankly in providing studies sorry they have no excuse and if they shut you down then there's something wrong with your adult children something very wrong and perhaps because they're acting like children you need to treat them as children and put them in the corner until they finally agree to uh, look at the studies it's not okay that they just refuse to even look at the studies that show that these vaccines are incredibly dangerous. It really is not okay because it, they're not just affecting their children, they affect you as the grandparent. And sorry that they don't get that there's a connection but they really need to. I'm going to read some of these. Uh, it's not the abstract. It's just the uh, summation for this Green Med information website that they have put together. Um, uh, the DTP, the diphtheria, tetanus, and pertosis, or the tetanus alone, the tetanus vaccination, increases the risk of allergies and related respiratory symptoms in children and adolescents. Um, 
over 1,000 confirmed cases of vaccine-induced vaccine-induced thrombocytopia. I'm sure I pronounced that incorrectly, but it, well, just think about platelets. Vaccine-induced low level of platelets. And the abnormally low levels of platelets can uh, result in nosebleeds, bleeding gums, heavier menstruation, bruising of feet, legs, forearms, thought to be caused by spontaneous bleeding under the skin, fatigue, general weakness, but if you have a low level of platelets, that's going to bring upon you an awful lot of problems. Um, over 600 cases of sudden infant death syndrome following vaccination, and that was reported in only a three-year period. My God, I, I don't know how you guys do it. You who are soon to be grandparents, you have, who have these adult children who just refuse to listen to you. I would be, well, I would certainly have an awful lot to say to my adult child, but if they refuse to listen, I would be so unbelievably worried. Uh, the risk of adverse events from the pertussis vaccine outweighed the risk of pertussis infection. So <laughs> you get this vaccine and you have adverse events. It's better that you don't get the vaccine and get the pertussis infection. Uh, there is a high statistically significant correlation between increasing number of vaccine doses and increasing infant mortality rates. You know, and I just want to say something about this, it's, <clears throat> excuse me, the sudden infant death syndrome. The vaccine that the infant receives causes sudden infant death of your child, of your baby. And then it is very likely that the authorities are going to come after you, you claiming that you may have murdered your baby. Don't think that that doesn't happen. It does. But we're talking about the death of infants. My God, if that doesn't bring a parent to be to their computer to do the research, then yes, I'm sorry to say this, you definitely have something wrong with your adult children. The Marisol containing vaccines associated with autism, serious neurological disorders, um, and it's not just this one study, um, but several uh, scientists have found that there's an association with the Marisol and autism and neurological disorders. They found the link, that there is a link. Um, Two of the largest randomized HPV vaccine trials unveiled more severe adverse events, more severe adverse events in the tested HPV vaccine. Vaccination in infants less than three months is associated with an increased risk of sudden infant death syndrome. I'm not reading the same study. I'm reading multiple studies. Vaccination associated with a rare autoimmune neurological condition, traverse myelitis. Vaccination is associated with an increased risk of hemolytic anemia. Um, the influenza vaccine is associated with Guillain-Barre syndrome and it was very associated with the Medicare population in 2009 and 2010 due to the H1N1 get that flu shot and the elderly. I see some of them. You, you can get a vaccine at a supermarket. You can get a vaccine at a uh, CVS and sometimes I have walked into a Walgreens drugstore and 
they're there getting their flu shots. It's it's frightening. Uh, disabling syndrome of chronic neuropathic pain, fatigue, and autonomic dysfunction may appear after the HPV vaccination. Measles outbreak was reported in a highly vaccinated population in San Diego in 2008. So we've had these outbreaks that have occurred. It's not just those recent outbreaks, you know, in Disneyland and California. This has happened time and time again. Adverse effects of the tet tetanus, toxoid, reduced diphtheria, toxoid, and acellular pertosis vaccine in a six to seven year old, in six to seven and year old children. The military, military population has been greatly adverse affected by the vaccines that they are ordered to take, to get. There are the birth defects. Um, and breastfeeding, I, I did do a review of these studies. Breastfeeding seems to decrease fever or um, other adverse effects after vaccination. So breastfeeding, my God, breastfeeding is what the infant needs to build up their immune system. So as you're breastfeeding, if you're vaccinating your children, you better be breastfeeding as well because that's one way to perhaps avoid the nightmare that so many are experiencing. Um, and CBD enriched hemp oil could be beneficial to girls uh, that have experienced adverse drug effects following the HPV vaccine. Children vaccinated with MMR before age 10 are at significantly higher risk of multiple sclerosis. It's so sad to read this and then so sad to have to read the comments from so many who have had to live this. And there's so much information out there. Cognitive dysfunction in post-vaccinated girls. So I will link below to this site. Um, the DTP increases mortality in children. The flu vaccination and pregnant women are told to get this flu shot. The flu vaccination causes measurable increases in inflammation in pregnant women, which may increase the risk of uh, adverse outcomes. I swear, these people with cars that need muffler work, they know when I'm going to be doing a video and they turn on their cars and drive by. Um, Please circulate this. Please. Hepatitis B vaccine associated with an increased risk of liver problems in U.S. children less than six years old. Hepatitis B vaccine associated with an increased risk of multiple sclerosis. Hepatitis B vaccine has been associated with so many different illnesses, and it is the hepatitis B, I believe, that they give infants when they're born. Isn't that the vaccine? When they're born, they immediately shoot them up with a vaccine that is associated with so many problems. Incidents of adverse reactions to vaccine in pediatric populations are underreported and may be as high as 43.4 percent. Influenza vaccine may increase the risk of Guillain-Barre syndrome. Influenza vaccine also, you will see, it is associated with so many different illnesses.
Doesn't it upset you to see so many children have their health destroyed, have their lives destroyed by vaccines, by psychiatric medications, by the GOM foods, by the false flag, school shootings, All right, this is a very, very important site. So I do hope that you circulate it. Even if you haven't been infected or affected, please circulate it. You never know. You never know who you can reach, who you might be reaching by circulating this information. You've got to let go of the results and just take the action. The link is below, guys.